What's up, guys? It's Elon Friends. We're back with another movie review. I'm with my boy, Lewis, and today we just saw Hellboy. And it's pretty much Hellboy trying to prevent the world from ending. Am I right? Yeah, All he's right. he's uh, he's trying to stop himself from bringing about the end of the world. Okay, and you want to give your opinion about the movie first? You want me to give mine? No, you can, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. I'll let you go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, uh... If I if I have to recommend this, let me start off with that. I I I wouldn't catch it in theaters unless you really really want to see it on the big screen. I'd say just wait on wait on a Blu-ray release. But uh, uh, David Harbour was was a great Hellboy, honestly in my opinion. Ian Shane was a great Professor Broom, and the both of them had a great chemistry as a believable father and son relationship. Uh, the exposition was given in a way that was bearable to me in my opinion as opposed to just uh, uh, an exposition dump of information given over over a, over a cutscene or, or a, what the hell is it called Fuck. flashback shit <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat that out <laughs> my bad um, it had lots of CGI and at times the, the blood and the gore <sighs> was a bit cartoonish it, it wasn't always the best the CGI was mm -mm, the best at all <laughs> it was like a PlayStation 3 game. But uh, the times I did notice practical effects were great, such as on Baba Yaga and um, I forgot the, the pig character's name. Either way, it was it, the practical effects were fine. Uh, Mila Jovovich as Nimue, the Blood Queen, gave a surprisingly good performance given her, um, her, her past acting jobs. Uh, and Daniel Day Kim as Major Ben Daimyo, uh, was honestly a standout. He he was amazing. I loved him. I'm definitely gonna check out uh, a lot of more of his work. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it said spoilers or not, but uh, Lobster Johnson did make an appearance, and I loved him. He, he was, his costume was great. His scene was 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 perfect. Um, I give it I give it a half a thumbs up. If you really want to catch it in theaters, catch it in theaters. But uh, otherwise, I'd wait for a Blu-ray release. Otherwise. So you say Otherwise. it's not as bad as what uh, everyone's saying it is? Yeah, definitely not. I'd say I'd say it's um, I'd say it's worth a watch at the very least. Uh, you gotta have to come into it with um, with the separation in your mind for, between it and Guillermo del Toro, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Hellboy, because they are completely different t t thematically. Tonally, uh, characters-wise, and everything—they're completely different. Which one you like better? Honestly, Del Toro's first Hellboy movie, but this one, like I said, as a Hellboy movie, is definitely worth watching. In my opinion, I would say wait. <clears throat> I would say wait to watch it on like Fox TV show. I wouldn't even say really Blu-ray it. Because this seemed like something that would show up on FX eventually, and you just watch it there when you're not doing anything. But I wouldn't say really buy a ticket. Because if you had to choose a movie, you only had uh, enough money to buy one ticket this week. Shazam or this? Uh, uh, <laughs> between Shazam and this, honestly, in my honestly, in my honest opinion, I would I would say Hellboy. Oh. I would say Hellboy. Uh -oh. Just because Hellboy? just because of personal bias that I have because I am a Hellboy fan. I don't really have a whole lot of history with Shazam or DC Comics in general. I don't have no history with uh, Hellboy, so if you're not a fan of Hellboy, I guess it's two different opinions. So if you're not a fan of Hellboy, see another movie. But if you're like a fan of Hellboy, might as well because you're not going to get that much content from him. So if you get a movie, might as well. Yeah, if you're looking for a fun action movie, definitely Shazam. If you're a fan of Hellboy, definitely. I mean, obviously Hellboy. The one thing I will say, but like, I didn't really care for the movie. I think it was okay. It's not as bad as what people think. But the one thing I will say is the action was kind of weird with this movie. Like, sometimes the action is really good, and sometimes the action will look like it's just a student fan film. Or, like, your uh, cutscene of a video game to me. It did feel amateurish at times. Yeah, I didn't like how the camera uh, panned and stuff like that. He was like... This is not the right way to do it. You mentioned earlier there were a lot of weird cuts too. I yeah, there was a that. lot of weird cuts there. I agree. And the CGI wasn't. I didn't. You could that CGI. The CGI was just, definitely wasn't. Very it was putting CGI in places where I don't even think CGI really needed to be there. Speaking, speaking of uh, Hellboy's makeup, it, it was. It kind of felt. It looked off in certain scenes. 
it, it wasn't it wasn't that good it really wasn't hellboy friend uh fan go see it. if you're not wait till it's on fx so yeah anything else to say um like and subscribe <laughs> like and subscribe peace out